guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a different kind of video, I guess. I've never really done anything like this on my channel um, just yet. Um, basically today we're going to be doing a home wares and like home decor haul. I've been a little bit naughty lately and it's even funny because Brandon was like, Nikia, you need to stay away from Spotlight. Like no more. Stop spending money. No more going to Kmart and coming home with like a boot full of stuff in your car. Hi, does anyone else do that? Me. <laughs> I'll literally go in there for socks and then I will just, I'll come out like it's three trolleys worth. Like it's crazy. But basically I've got a bunch of stuff piled up next to me. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's literally huge, huge, huge bags full of stuff. We're just going to go through it all and have a look at it. And I'm going to sort of explain, um, you know, the different things that I get and what I use to decorate the house. If you guys weren't aware or if you are new here, um, Brandon and I recently moved into a new house. Um, this is a house that we've been building for gosh it was nearly a two-year build it took a really really long time I do have an empty house to it if you're interested in seeing that I will link that one down below but basically um, you know we've been taking it very slowly buying furniture and buying different homewares and decorations for our house um, just collecting things over time and yeah this is a bunch of the stuff that I've collected. I'm also really excited to film this because it means I can finally get the stuff out of the bags and put it around. So yes, that's enough rambling from me. If you're interested in seeing a huge homeware, home decor, home decorations kind of video, then please keep on watching. Okay, so how are we gonna tackle this? How are we gonna tackle? I think I might do the fake flowers first. Um, if you're anything like me, like I literally kill everything. I cannot have live plants in a house. I can't have live flowers flowers um I forget to water them I just can't seem to do it so pretty much all of the plants that I use to decorate around the home and stuff they're all fake and you know what a stack of them actually come from Kmart so I'll show you the ones from Kmart first I have been buying these like they are absolutely going out of fashion and every time they restock them at my local Kmart I literally go in and buy them all they're just little bunches of white roses they've got like a little bit of like green foliage under here what's it called artificial flower bunch and roses five dollars each these are so ridiculously affordable and they look amazing look I've got so many of them here they look amazing when you pile them all together and arrange them into like a nice big bunch I've been collecting these because you'll notice and eventually when I do do my updated house tour showing you guys exactly how I've decorated everything you'll be like Nikia, you've got white roses everywhere I just love white roses around the house I feel like they just look so fresh and you know, it, you can use white flowers and then you can decorate with any accent colors and it doesn't really affect anything. I love these and I'm not even kidding. I have brought so many of these in the last couple of weeks. Look at them all. They're all little individual bunches. And like I said, they're so affordable. They're only $5 each. So yeah, that's the first thing that I got from Kmart. Also from Kmart, same price, same section. They're just kept in like the homeware section. These beautiful burgundy flowers. I absolutely love these. And look how nice they look against white. Oh, my jumper's white. Oops. <laughs> they look so nice against white and it's just a really nice accent color to decorate. Um, I'm thinking I'll put these in one of the spare bedrooms maybe. We'll see. But yeah, really, really love these. And they look really like, they look quite real. Like for Kmart flowers, like I know that sounds terrible, but you know, like it, it's a cheap shop. We all know that Kmart's a cheap shop. They look really, really real. Like I love these. Ooh, they'd actually look really nice with the white ones too. Ooh. I also picked up a bunch of these white flowers. I know it's a bit of a theme, isn't it? It's a bit of a theme developing. I'm from Early Settler. Early Settler is a like a furniture sort of homeware store here in Australia. Um, and I just love these. I think they're beautiful and I love that they've got like a little bit of green on the inside. It's not just like a stark white. It kind of adds like a little bit more life to them. I'm thinking maybe these are going to go on the dining room table. They're just so beautiful though. Look how pretty they are. Gorgeous. And then again, a bit of a pattern back to accent colors also from Early Settler. I got a bunch of these different shades of pink flowers. So this one here is the same as the white flowers that I just showed you, but obviously a pink version. They just look so nice. Look at those colors. And I got this pink one as well. And then these two here as well. They're just massive, like they're huge individual flowers. They do look like a bunch of separate ones, but they're just massive individuals. Um, Again, accent color. 
colours. Most of our house is neutral. It's all like grey, taupe, black, white. We've got dark floorboards downstairs, but um, I don't I don't do colours. I don't do like I don't paint walls colours or anything like that. I don't get like coloured splashback in the kitchen. Everything is neutral, and then I just decorate with accent colours. Because then if you change your mind, you're not like stuck in a corner. Like oh my god, I'm gonna have to repaint the whole house. Okay, so sticking with the Kmart theme, I'm going to go through the Kmart stuff that I got. First up, I got a bunch of these little jars. Um, I do have more here. I think these are actually organizers. Oh, no, it's a kitchen item. Large white embossed canister. It's a really nice. It's like actually like a ceramic, and then it's got like a little wooden lid on it. I think that these are gorgeous. I'll probably throw out the lids, to be honest, or paint them black or white. But um, I think that these will double really, really well as vases for flowers. And if you guys noticed, if something is labelled an actual vase instead of being labelled something else, it's like four or five times the price. No, these were like, I feel like these were like $3. Maybe, maybe $4. But they're really, really nice. Um, they're actually quite heavy duty. They look really like they look, they look fancy, basically. I also picked up a large grey one. So this is the large grey tapered canister. Essentially the same thing. Um, it's like a ceramic canister. It comes with a wooden lid and, you know, you can... I mean, I think the idea is that you keep things in your kitchen, like sugar and things like in it. For me, this is a flower vase. Aha! Here's another one. So this one is white and rose gold. It's got like, this really nice geometric pattern painted on here. What's this one called? This is called the small herringbone canister. Same thing, wooden lid, empty. Okay, next up from Kmart, I got this blanket. I'm very much into layering linen. Is anyone else into that? Um, you know, like you'll just have like a plain white duna cover, but then you'll have like a stack of blankets. I mean, hello right behind me. This is our bedroom, my bedroom, by the way. Um, I just, I don't know, I like the way it looks. So I've been collecting blankets for layering. So this is one of the ones that I got and I unfortunately accidentally removed the tag. Oh no, wait, it's still here, it's still here. So this is the Alaska Throw. And what I really like about this one, it's like a gray mile on one side, but then on the other side, it's like a Sherpa blanket, basically. It's like white fluffy. Oh, so good for snuggling under. Um, and I think it'll look really nice laid on some of the beds or even on the couch somewhere. Um, yeah, it's cheap too. I feel like, I feel like this was like $20 from Kmart. Crazy cheap. Also from Kmart, I got this linen. These are the Lana standard pillowcases. These actually match. There's like a coverlet that they've got in there. Um, I didn't want the coverlet because with the carpet in this house, it's really tricky. Like I loved the coverlet, but it's really tricky to choose greys, especially when you're going to be sitting next to um, the carpet. So I just grabbed the pillowcases. I didn't get like the whole set. It's like a suede velvet material. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Again, just like the layering of blankets, and you're about to witness this with all of the cushions that I have bought, I also like to layer pillows on beds. It just looks so luxe, and I feel like this pillowcase was like $6 or something. Something really really affordable and it's gonna look so nice when it's layered with other whites or you know like even patterns um, as kind of like feature cushions on one of the beds it's beautiful so I got two of them okay so I did buy some cushions from Kmart I forgot this see this is terrible I bought so much that I've even forgotten what are in the bags it's kind of like buying it again you know when you buy stuff online and then you forget about it and it comes in the mail and you're like oh you're like excited all over again this is what this is like so i've been hoarding this stuff um so that i could do a haul for you guys how gorgeous are these pillows these are in kmart right now run and grab them honestly run out of your house and grab them right now i do have these in a gray color as well but i bought them a little while ago um i might show you guys on instagram or something they're these beautiful feature cushions what are they called these this is the breakfast velvet button cushion in the color ink it's like a velvet material so beautiful and luxurious um i'm experimenting with blue as a feature color at the minute like as an accent color um in the downstairs formal lounge and in a couple of other rooms how crazy gorgeous is this i just want to cut a lid so yeah i bought a couple of these okay not gonna lie yeah there's like five in here oh here's another cushion that i brought this is like a fluffy one how cute is this i'm obsessed with fluffy anything i mean again look behind me <laughs> but um yeah i think i'm gonna put this on a spare bed or one of the spare beds maybe um i really like it oh forgot about these um 
technically I guess this should have been with the flowers, but this is just some greenery. Um, when I do, you know, big, big vases of flowers, I do like to put greenery in and mix. You know, it just kind of breaks it up, especially when you've got so many whites. So I, I get these from Kmart. They're, I think, like 2 or $3 each, and they look really realistic once they've you know, been arranged properly. Okay, also from Kmart. Oh, yes, I remember. So I've got a couple of candles. These are their aromatherapy candles. They do come in a bunch of different scents. Um, I picked these two up. So I got the indulgence. They're soy wax candles with essential oils, but I got the indulgence candle and the rejuvenate candle. I love that they come in like a little jar. Like I think they look so cool and then come with a little black lid and then you open it and obviously the candles inside, but I kid you not, these smell freaking amazing. Oh, so this one's got lemongrass, ginger, lemon, bergamot, wormwood. It's going to say wormtail. Any Harry Potter fans out there? Hi. <laughs> and then this one, I think this one was my favorite. Oh, it hasn't got the fragrance written on here. It just says indulgence fragrance. Okay, Mark. Oh, this one smells like chai tea. Absolutely. I mean, they're so pretty. Like, look how beautiful and luxe they are. Really good buy. And I feel like these are maybe six or seven dollars. Oh my god, surprise, surprise. Another grey little pot thing. This is the glazed cylinder pot. Um, again, I pretty much buy a lot of outdoor vases. Oh, I've got another one here. I buy a lot of outdoor pots. Did I say outdoor vases? I meant to say outdoor pots. Um, and I use them as flower vases instead of buying actual vases because, again, outdoor pots, they're a lot sturdier. They're usually heavier. They're much less likely to chip because they're made for the outdoors and they're so much cheaper than buying indoor vases. Like, you'll begin to notice now, like, wherever you go, like, an outdoor vase versus an indoor vase, the outdoor vase is usually, like, one-third of the price. So, yeah, I got two here. So this one is the glazed cylinder pot. It's a really nice sort of it's got like a beautiful gray pattern on it really pretty it looks stunning with white roses in it like look 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 how nice like once that's full how pretty will that look and then this one is the white geometric pot this is a really big one I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet I might even actually already have this one Oh, oops. also from Kmart a little soap dispenser this is the embossed soap dispenser Really nice. It looks really, I don't know, it looks like I spent a lot of money on it, but it was literally like a couple of dollars. So I'm going to put this in one of the bathrooms as well. Oh, I remember this. Look how massive this is. This is a huge candle from Kmart. This is the, what is it? Tibetan sandalwood three wick scented candle. This thing is massive. It weighs a ton. It smells so yummy. I pretty much decorate everywhere with flowers and candles. It's just... It's, it's my thing. So yeah, anything from Kmart that's pretty, that's black and white, that's neutral, that looks nice, that's going to be easy to keep clean, I'm all about. All right. Also from Kmart, I bought a bunch of these stackable trays. Um, not, not really home decor or homewares. I use these in my um, Ikea drawers, my Alex drawers, in my makeup studio to store my makeup, basically. I'll show you what they look like. All right, so it comes with three trays. They're like three separate ones and they've got like little, um, sort of like little dividers in them, but they're actually removable. I pretty much take these out, don't even use them. And then, oh, this one I sort of use because it's big enough to store like blushes and things, but then I'll put them in my drawers sort of like this and then I use them to, you know, like store like foundations and organize different things and whatnot. Um, yeah, they're really, really cheap. I think they're like $7 for all three. So, 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 so good for organization. You could even do it in your bathroom or in your kitchen or whatever. Just clear acrylic trays. And it's a lot cheaper than buying them from like Howard's Storage or um, Container World. Like it's just a lot more affordable. I bought quite a few of these. Not gonna lie. Like here's a whole bag of them here and there's another bag of them. I love these. Okay, moving on to some of the stuff that I bought at Spotlight. Now, if you didn't see it, I, I put a vlog up maybe like a week and a half ago now where I actually um, took you guys shopping with me to Spotlight. So the next, um, so the rest of this stuff here is the stuff that I bought in at Spotlight. Spotlight is amazing. It's an Australian store and from all of the comments on that vlog, everybody said it was like Bed Bath & Table or was it Bed Bath & Beyond? It's basically got like craft stuff, sewing stuff, um, homewares, furniture, bedding, um, kitchen stuff. Like you can buy like cutlery and crockery and cookware and everything. It's just, it's my favorite place in the world. I'm banned from Spotlight. Literally banned from Spotlight. I can't go there anymore. 
Like, look at this. Look at all the stuff. Nakia, you've got problems. You've got problems. But first up from Spotlight. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so these are European um, cushion cases. They're covered in glitter and sequins. I mean, hello. <laughs> I absolutely fell in love with these. They're so pretty. They're from the brand Logan and Mason from their Platinum collection. And the pattern is Colette Silver. But oh, oh my gosh. I am dying. Oh my gosh. This is the prettiest thing I think I have ever seen. Look at this cushion cover. And it's like a beautiful damask pattern, but... It's sequins. It's like silver sequins and white sequins. And then in the center parts here, it's like a silvery velvet. This is the prettiest thing ever. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to be putting this on our bed. How nice is that going to look on the bed? They did do a full Duna cover of this. It was like $250 and I was like, oh, I don't need it. Don't buy it, Nikia. I need to go to spotlight therapy. Honestly, I'm out of control. So gorgeous. So yeah, I got two of these. Um, again, I layer cushions. I'm obsessed with it. European cushions everywhere. <laughs> I'll show you guys a photo um, of what these look like once they're on the bed because this is to die. Oh, I also got a bunch of these pretty little mugs. They had 40% off, um, I think like all of the kitchen stuff, like the plates and the bowls and the mugs. So I picked these up. These are like mugs that I would, you know, get out when I've got people over who drink coffee and tea and whatnot. Because, girl, I am a tea, I'm tea obsessed. You guys know that already. This isn't big enough for my cups of tea. No, 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 no. I need huge ass, like the, the cups that I drink tea out of are literally like this in comparison. They seriously are. But these are really beautiful little porcelain mugs. They're by the brand Casa de Mani. And this is the casual white Florence mug. It's beautiful. It's got like embossed bits on the bottom here. It's got this beautiful pattern around the top. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. Really, really beautiful, nice mugs. Um, yeah, I've been looking for some nice ones and I'm kind of fussy um, about mugs. I don't know. It's it, We don't have enough time to go into that, but yeah, I fell in love with these and they were really, really cheap, so I bought them. Okay, next up from Spotlight. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so this here, while it may look like a first row, and oh my god, it actually matches the one behind me. Stop it! I did not realise this. So this is a first row that I bought from Spotlight a little while ago. It was stupidly expensive. It was like $150 for this tiny little rectangle. You guys, this is an Ottoman or a beanbag cover. I think a beanbag cover. This was reduced to like $10 or something crazy. And I was like, I don't want to use it as a beanbag. I want to use it as a throw on the couch. I'm going to cut out this center section and drape it over the couch. You will not know the difference. I cannot believe that it matches that one and I didn't even realize, oh my God. <laughs> I'll do anything to save money. And if it involves a pair of scissors, I'm there. I'm here for it. So yeah, this is going to be like a fur throw. Um, all of the fur in my house is faux fur. I never buy real fur. I'm 100% against real fur. Um, and I mean, the synthetic stuff is just as beautiful. I think it's easy to keep clean. And yeah, you do not need real fur. Okay, look at this big ass bag here. Whoa, it's actually quite heavy. I'll rip it open. Ugh. Oh my gosh, more blue cotton! I feel like they had buy four cautions and get 40% off them. So, you know, I did it more navy blue. This is like a plush, like sort of fluffy cushion. This is from the brand Rapey, Rapey, Rapey. This is the society um, cushion in the color indigo. How cute is it? It's so fluffy. And like I said, I'm toying with the navy blues and royal blues um, as accent colors at the minute. So I've picked up some blues. Ah, uh, yeah. So I got two of them. I think I'm going to put them in some armchairs. We've got some armchairs downstairs and I think they're going to look really, really nice on them. Fingers crossed because they're not going to accept returns, I don't think, because I've been hoarding this stuff for such a long time. <laughs> okay, here's another cushion that I picked up from Spotlight. Again, it's a really fluffy one. This is like a silvery grey one. I love cushions with a lot of texture. It's from the same brand. This is the Shaggy Charcoal Cushion. Shaggy Charcoal Cushion. 
Yes. I feel like Georgie's going to love this. Whenever there's any cushions like sitting like that, she will literally perch herself on top and she'll be like, hi, princess cushion, this is mine. <laughs> and then lastly, I got this one here. Um, this is like more of like a neutral, again, fluffy textured. This is from the brand Living Space. It's the Faux Fur Merin Cushion. Um, I just liked the idea that this has got sort of more of like neutral tones as opposed to greys. It just sort of breaks it up. Um, not sure where I'm going to put this guy. Probably on the spare bed, but it's gorgeous. <sighs> okay, I forgot about this too. More fur. <laughs> we made this video a drinking game. Every time I got faux fur out, you had to take a shot you would be tanked. So this is from Living Space as well. This is the Faux Fur Speckled... Faux Fur Speckled Throw. Does it have a colour or a colour code that I can tell you? Ah, it's just in the colour charcoal. Fell in love with this. Absolutely fell in love with this. So nice. Oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous this is. <gasps> oh. Okay. Just give me a moment. I'm gonna be here just sleeping. Okay, you can shut the door on your way out. Thank you. <laughs> so this is like a two-toned, it's even like a three-toned fur throw. It's got a lot of black in it, but then it's also got like this beautiful gray speckled kind of pattern to it. Hopefully you can see it on camera. Really, really pretty, really luxe. Um, just, ah, oh, so cozy, oh my gosh. Also, this was on sale. I pretty much don't buy expensive bedding unless it's on sale because it's just too much money. Too much money. I do think that bedding is definitely something worth actually investing in, like sheets and pillows and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But um, I'm still like, girl, I'm going to wait till it's on sale. So, yeah, this is going to look gorgeous. Oh, maybe I'll put it on this bed. What do we think? think what do we think it's getting like bits of fluff all over me okay i also picked this one up from spotlight and i'm not i'm not completely convinced on this um but it was only like ten dollars it was on special like super super special so i was like you know what i'll give it a go um this is the zahara quilted coverlet set and again i purchased this with the vision of using it for layering it's basically like a quilted coverlet. I'll just get one of the pillowcases out so you can see it. It's going to be the easiest way. Oh, it's got a funny pattern on the other side. Okay, I'm not going to be facing that pattern out, but it's got this really beautiful, again, it's like a damask white and grey kind of pattern on it. And like I said earlier, I really love um, layering cushions and layering fabrics and textures on beds. Um, just having like a plain bedspread and then look like layering all this kind of stuff. So I kind of bought it with that intention. It was so cheap. It was literally like ten dollars. It was down. It was on special, then on special again, and then I think literally on special again. So I was like, "You're mine. That's going straight in my basket." I actually really like it. I think that was a really good buy. I'll do anything to save money. I will. I staunch the aisles. I go back, and if I like something, I'll recheck, and I'm like, mm, "Is it on sale yet?" Like, it is like a hobby. It is like a sick hobby of mine. Whoa, you should see the pile of crap over there. That's getting serious. Okay, and we're finally on to the last bag. Now, this stuff was from Spotlight as well. Oh, more pillowcases. <gasps> Cushion cover. Oh, I do remember that I got that. <laughs> of course I bought it. It was on sale for $5. Get a clue, Nikea. Okay, so these are some more standard pillowcases that I'm going to use for layering again. These are by the brand Koo. They're 300 thread count cotton sateen. I think I just bought them because they were cheap and I really, really liked the colour. It's like this really pretty, it's like a, like a purpley grey kind of a colour. Um, again, I'm going to use this for layering on spare beds or on our bed. Oh, they're actually really soft. That's really soft for 300 thread count. Oh my god. Wow, that's insane. They're a really beautiful colour though, and I feel like these were on sale for like $3, honestly. Like I said, I'm a bargain hunter. So yeah, I got two of them for layering, and I seem to have purchased this. This is a cushion cover. Why did I buy this? It's kind of a bit dirty. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash this before I use it. It's like a little white embossed cushion cover. It is really pretty. It's a bit grubby though, so I'm gonna take it downstairs and soak it. Um, yeah, it's got like a um, shiny rope trim to it. It's pretty. It's 
pretty. Ah, this probably isn't really exciting to see, but I did get a bunch more cushion inserts. This is size 26, so this is for a European cushion. I did get a bunch of standard size cushion inserts as well. I don't spend, like I don't invest much money in cushions that I'm not sleeping on. Um, I do, however, think it's totally worth it, you know, actually spending a bit of money on the cushion that you sleep on. Brandon and I sleep on these weird... I don't know, like latex pillows. They were really, really expensive. But I've got to tell you, I sleep so much better. I get less neck pain. I get less headaches. I suffer really badly from headaches. Um, but yeah, I think that's totally worth it. But the cushions that you're not sleeping on, don't don't waste your money buying fan-dangled cushion inserts. Just get the cheapest. Like this was like $10. And the standard pillow, like pillow inserts that I buy for um, like pillowcases that are this size. I just get them from Kmart. You can get like a pack of four for like $15. They're really, really good. They last ages. Probably not the best for sleeping on, but they look really nice on the bed. Just as like layering pillows, they look good. So yeah, I got quite a few of these, it would seem. Yeah, we're still going. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this I'm excited about. So again, Spotlight had these on sale. And it's funny because I've actually bought these before. Um, the, the most beautiful hand towels and towels um, and face washes. I'm hopefully going to be able to see on camera. So these are the Ku Elite Soho. Well, this is one of the hand towels, but I've got bath sheets and bath towels as well. They've got this beautiful like little trim at the bottom. Like how gorgeous is that? It's like a frayed trim. And then the pattern on these, like I literally cannot deal. It's just gorgeous. It's got like a geometric pattern and then it's got like stripes and then more geometric patterns. They're just beautiful. Now hand towels, I feel like should be just as much a feature in your bathroom as anything else or, you know, in your powder room. Because everybody sees them, you see them, you look at them every day, so why not have pretty ones? And these were discounted so much. Where's the receipt? Spotlight probably still has them on sale, to tell you the truth. I would go and get them. Face washes were $6, so I bought the face washes in this color, mostly because if I bought them in the lighter gray, they would just end up orange with fake tan and makeup. So I bought them in the deeper color, $6. $6. The hand towels were... Oh my god, no! I'm lying! The face washes were $2! Oh, I need to go back and buy more. They're beautiful. They're discounted down. They're like... It's like $20 off them. That is insane. These are the hand towels. These were only $4. If I'm reading that correctly. Yes. Four dollars. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need to go to Spotlight this afternoon. Brandon, I apologize in advance. I know that you banned me from Spotlight, but the hand towels are only four dollars and I need to go back there immediately. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Well, I got a bunch of the hand towels. I should have got more. Those prices are crazy. The bath towels were only twelve dollars. Oh my god. I need to go and get more. The bath towels are basically exactly the same as the hand towels beautiful pattern beautiful trim there's a bunch of different colors i would seriously go down and get these they're gorgeous and when they're hanging in your bathroom like it just takes i feel like it just takes it to the next level um really really beautiful towels so i bought a lot of these like here's one <laughs> i got a lot of them oh it looks like i've also bought the hand towels in the darker color as well the darker color is so beautiful. And that, my friends, finishes the haul. <laughs> I've got pins and needles from sitting on my feet for too long. Ow. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little bit different here on my channel. I feel like I want to snuggle under this. Let's do it. Oh, so good. Um, but yeah, I've been getting a lot of requests for decorating videos, um, for house videos, for homewares videos. I've got a huge passion for this kind of stuff. I love buying different things and bargain hunting and using like different textures and colors to decorate and things like that. So if you guys are interested in seeing that kind of stuff, I'd be more than happy to post it all here on my channel for you. We can do room transformations. Um, I also flip a lot of furniture. And if you don't know what that means, I buy old furniture and I do it up like I'll I'll paint it, I'll sand it back, um, I'll paint it with different patterns, I'll paint it white, I'll paint it black. Um, I do that a lot. Makeup will always be first, but second, 
furniture and decorating. <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested in seeing all that kind of stuff on my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know if you want to do more hauls. This is a big house. Um, we've got a lot of rooms to decorate and we are only at the beginning. So yeah, if you're wanting to see more hauls like this, please let me know. Love filming them. Love hanging out with you guys. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will catch you all in my next one. I just quickly wanted to show you guys the aftermath of filming that haul. <laughs> Look at my bedroom. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> I wonder if Brandon would like to clean this up with me. I'm going to go ask him. <laughs> Love you guys.